Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to connect uh, Visual Boy Advanced M, I think it's called. It's Visual Boy something. Uh, GBA. Visual Boy Advanced M, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, I'm going to show you how to connect two instances of these so you can play like Kirby together, like we did in uh, the uh, art series, uh, or like Pokemon, or anything. It's the same, uh, I think. It's the same for every game, so it doesn't matter what game I'm going to show you how to do it with. So what you want to do, um, you're going to open four instances, or two, depending how many you're doing. But I'll do two to start with, since two is just easier to work with. Uh, once you got your emulator open, also link will be in the description to this emulator, uh, so you can go check that out. Um, you're going to want to go to, let's do, I'm going to do one. So, you're going to want to run both of these. Let me turn the sound on. Alright. Um, you're going to go to, want to go to emulation. And you're going to see, and when, you, when you get it, I, this might be checked. You want to uncheck this. You want to uncheck pause when inactive. Basically what that means is, if I have another window open, this will start playing this will stop the game, and you don't want that when it's connecting, because you need to have both of these open at the same time, so you gotta uncheck those on both of them, which they are. Um, the reason it paused is because I did that, by the way. Alright, so what you're also going to want to do is go to Options, Input, and Configure. You're going to want to set uh, Player 1 and Player 2. Um, or just player one for this one, so that one's already set. So, so I'm gonna use use as default. So this instance over here is gonna be player one, and you're gonna want to go over here and do the same thing, except use a different configuration and set this as use as default. All right, now we're good. Okay, so once you get your controllers set up and your emulator settings all fine and dandy, you're we're gonna want to go to options, link, and start network link. Then you're gonna see this number here. Um, you're gonna want to copy that, but you're gonna do server, so you won't need it here. But you you need to copy this. Then you're gonna go server, and then go to two players since we have two. But depending on how many you have, you can do three, four. Um, so let's do two. This will say IP address, all that. You're gonna go to link, uh, start network link. And then you're going to go to client. This may not be here, and it might be a different number. That's why you copy it, and then you paste it here. And then you connect. And then it'll say all pairs connected on both of them. And then you go uh, here, and you just go multiplayer. And um, multiplayer. And then they will connect, and then you can just press A. And there you go. You're both playing Kirby's uh, thing. So yeah, you can do that. And then it's all fine and dandy. So that's how you link two GBAs. Um, now I'm just going to do it for fun with four so you can see uh, how that runs. Alright, so then we're going to go to link, start network type, server, four players, since there's four of us, going to hit start, then go to uh, player two, which is him, or well, it doesn't really matter what order you go in, but, then you're going to go client, connect, and then it's going to say connected, waiting for two more players, because, you know, we're waiting for two more players, then you're just going to connect, waiting for one more player. And then link start network type connect. And then it'll, all of them will say player connected. And then you can go. Um, you can't have two two or more players on keyboard at the same time. 
because hold on, I'll explain it in a second. What was this? Then there we go. All right, there we go. All players are connected, and there we go. We got pink, yellow, red, and green. Then you can all play around and move around um, like a jolly family. Epic. Um, okay, so you can't have more than one player on keyboard because you need to have the window selected for the player on keyboard. So, like, this character uses the number pad to move. Alright, so I can move him right now. That's red. Now if I click here, I can't move him. But now I can use move yellow, who uses the arrow keys. Or green, sorry. So, you can only have one player on keyboard. Um, everyone else has to be on controller, so just keep that in mind. Uh, if you actually want to play, like, a normal human being. Um, now for playing online, uh, you can't connect over the internet, as far as I know. You might be able to, I haven't tried it. Um, but, uh, I would just recommend using Parsec, um, cause it's nice. Uh, yeah, I've explained it in another video, but basically Parsec is a thing where you can connect to your friends. So let's say I want to play with my friend, alright, and he's in Nebraska, alright, and he's like, Gamer XD. Then we both get Parsec, and then he asks to connect to my computer. I accept him. Then he sees my computer all like this, and he sees everything I'm doing. And then I can select what controls he has. Like, he can use a controller, or he can control the keyboard, or he can control the mouse. Usually, you would just do the controller, or you can do the mouse or keyboard if uh, he needs to use keyboard. So then you would just do that normally, like what I just did, and then you would just play like that. Uh, that's how I do it, but there's probably another way that has and it's it's not laggy it's it's really not that laggy like at all but uh i mean it's it drops occasionally but not not enough to be like wow it, it doesn't drop that much from my experience at least so yeah that's how you do it online um i'll link parsec in the description um but thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye bye